Got the handball free to Holwell. He's wrapped up by Morton, and the umpire said punts. So free kick North Geelong. Dylan Morton at half back. I'll just go with the kick now. Pittman gives him a lead. He goes in that direction. It's a good kick. Hits him on the uh, chest. He doesn't take the mark. Labor got his hands free. Oh, held on to it for a long time. Umpire said play on. Came back towards Labor again. Got his hands free again. McLeish kicks it straight in the air. There'll be no 15. Ball to the side of the pack. Morton's over the top of it. Got up. And then McLeish puts the tackle on him. Now it comes to Schwenison. Luke, who gets the kick away. Goes close to the boundary line. And out. Centre wing for a boundary throw in. Welcome back, Grub. Thanks, mate. <laughs> A little bit of freelancing done by Daly. Went from table to table in there at halftime. You were the same probably, were you? Just, you oh, know, no, it wasn't no? too bad. Just wedded to one, were you? Yeah, probably spoiled it a little bit in the end by having a piece of cake, which I shouldn't have, but it just looks so nice. <laughs> Rickett gets the the uh, ball down, and the umpire will come in and ball it up. I think that's Tom Schwenison not going anywhere. Got wrapped up by a couple of Thompson players. Sam Jacker was one of them. So centre wing, ball up. Bowles goes up with Rickett. Morton roves again, gives it away to Fitzsimmons. He got the kick away. Well, didn't get the first kick away, got the second one away. Tresize comes at it, gets it at half back in front of Pittman, goes towards half forward with the kick. Matho comes across for North Geelong, can't take the mark, but his second effort was all right. And then he wrapped up, got wrapped up, and the umpire said, play on. And it will be a ball up at centre half forward. Rain's for Thompson. Way, yeah, the rain's sort of coming across. From so the if south? It, if it's coming from that way, no, it's put coming. the shutters up. No, yeah. It comes from over here. So no, it's not. It's going across here, right? Well, with the wind, we'll see how we go. Ball. Might miss us with the wind. Across half forward. Spokes. Oh, good play. Spokes does nicely. Runs away from Cam Fletcher and kicks the bug. Oh, at half forward. So does nicely. Does Jack Spokes and kicks his first of the afternoon. And a six for Thompson. They're 6'6", six, six, And they lead North Geelong five behinds. So that's on the Durandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard. Two and a half played. I really don't know what to say. Well, I just don't. It, it, it's, it's probably one of... Well, at the moment, it's the second worst effort I've ever seen North Geelong put in. <laughs> but if they don't kick a goal, it's going to be the worst, isn't it? Exactly <laughs> the same as this time last year. I'm talking to Johnny Mitchell in there. If I was in that side last year, I'd come here to play. I'd be going out knocking blokes over. It doesn't matter if you don't win. Try your guts out. And they're not doing it. So ball back in the middle of the ground again. The tackle is played by Fitzsimmons. And uh, Thompson player, probably Hole. No, it's not. He's already standing. It was uh, Banfield. He gets to his feet and handballs the umpire the ball. The ball back now. Swenison takes the ball, gets a handball outside the contest. Went to Luke Swenison. He's tackled. So again, the same situation will apply here. Umpire to come in, take possession of the ball. You just need to get things out and run things, but it's uh, getting it out has been the problem. Ball over the top, bowls again, knocks it uh, Thompson's way, but coming the other way was Andrews. He's held things up once again. And again, umpire for a third attempt. To get things going from the middle of the ground. At least I'm showing more interest than Lithuanian Dave no, Tajani. He's gone, down, Dave, he's gone down in the netball. To do what? Oh, have a look. At what? Well, I don't know. Oh, now here's a chance. As Andrews delivers the ball into the half forward line. Kills me. Can't take the mark. Picked up by Denham. Comes across the ground. Miss touches and goes over the top. But he's got plenty of time to go back and collect it now. Runs onto the ball. Could go short, but goes towards Labor. Ball gets over the top. Matheson doesn't trap the ball either. It goes over the boundary line and we'll have a throw in. Wind getting up too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Anything ball? else going to happen? <laughs> ball is thrown back in and runs through the contest. And Cotter is over the top. Of the ball, no one else is going to be prepared to uh, get the ball out. I think they should just have a rule now. If it goes under, someone's got to tap it out, so it keeps running. So this time, Bowles, big thump forward. Runs into the half-forward line, coming through wall. Leads in the race of the ball, Brockenshire. He's uh, able to trap it, gets it back to Swenison. Moves nice, this young fellow. I like the way he's going about his footy. 
And he gets in and out of trouble now. It's as his third bounce. He continues to run. Goes into the half-forward line. Kick was poor. Hutchison couldn't take the mark. Handball goes over the top from a bib. Outside to Killsby. Moved forward in this oh, corner. He's gone. He's trapped and uh, brought to the ground. And Alex Denham, good chase from behind. So Thompson have the ball now. And they go back down the middle of the ground. McLeish doesn't take the mark. Has support there. Picked up. Handball well, That's a throw good. too then. Picked up by Parker. Goes on. Goes wide towards Pittman. For size, not too far away. Pittman just goes round the body. Oh, kick was poor again. Christ. And it's been turned wow. over. So this time Howland, he gets the ball. He goes sideways. That kick wasn't good either. He picks it up and puts it down. Picked up by Denham. He handballs away. Goes to the back. And it was Stephen in space. He goes straight up the ground. Nice kick. Marcus taken out there by Banfield. <coughs> Plays on. Bring it club room side. Goes back towards Labor. Oh. Labor takes <laughs> the mark. Have a go! Swings on the left boot, goes to the centre <laughs> wing position. He is right now. He's back there. He's up there. He lays a tackle. Ball comes out. Yeah, well done. That's buzzer. better. <laughs> Coach, Coach Cajun says he's having a crack now. Short kick. Fitzsimmons presents up and takes the mark. Numbers back behind the ball. And it's all with... Thompson, the short kick goes in and sliding in. Mark has been taken there by Van Creeken. So the captain of the side has Fitzsimmons running to some space, but he just goes short again. This time Luke Swinnerson comes up, takes the mark. So again, there's not too much quick movement going into the forward line. It goes out wide again. Fitzsimmons continues to work and he takes the mark. And from this position, again, uh, probably distance won't be a problem, but again, with that breeze blowing away, it is. It will take every best bit of his best kick he's got, I think, the old Derek. From over 50, steps inside, kicks towards goal. He's going to go towards the top of the square. Ricketts down there, couldn't take the mark at ground level. Swenison picks it up. He's tackled. Umpire comes in and takes possession of the ball. Top of the goal square. <coughs> Alex Bowles has pushed down. He's going to do work against Stevie Wickett. Both Ruckman go out. Ball is tapped down. Picked up. Parker tries to get through the contest. Tried to ask for a free kick. Yeah, he Wasn't going to be given. Ball comes out the back. So they've done pretty nicely now. And now, North Geelong have a goal. Five behinds. They move to six behinds. <laughs> and they trail the Thompson side on 6-6. Six, six, 42. And it's seven and a half minutes gone. Third quarter. I think it... Half time, Doug Doggy should have kicked some behinds. Hutchinson kicks it, finds Jack up. He goes towards half back. Good mark. No Tresize has it. A defensive 50 down the line. Long kick towards centre wing. Oh, off the back, Labour. Oh, Mark paid. So it gives it back to Labour anyway, and the ball goes towards half forward. Good mark, getting back there. Matheson for North Geelong. Chips the ball out to Schwenison. Takes the mark at half back. He just chips the ball towards centre wing. Oh, they've turned it over though. Labour gets it away. Bit of don't argue. Goes a left foot kick towards Jacko at half forward. McLeod takes the mark. Across towards Egan, put a hand up, couldn't take the mark. Second effort was okay. Got wrapped up by Brent Schwenison. Somehow got the handball free. Spokes, umpire said, holding the footy. So North Geelong will take the free kick. Andrews now gets it. He chips the ball towards Tom Schwenison. He got Rickett out further. He goes over that top to him now. Pittman gives him a lead, goes in that direction. Tresize comes up. Pittman can't take the mark. My yeah. question would be, what have they done to him when he's come to St Albans? He hasn't come back the same player. Boundary throw in. Centre wing. Nine and a half played third term. Bowls in front. The ruck contest. Van Creeken through. Dropped the footy. <laughs> Umpire said yes. Holwell, advantage paid. Goes long with a kick towards centre half forward. McLeod goes up. Oh, was that a mark? Yes, it was. And... Jackson McLeod has the footy. And he'll shoot for goal from 50 out directly in front. He has kicked two this afternoon. Well, he's a better bloke than bloody Terry anyway. He's trying to kill me. Well, what for? Forcing cream cake and sponges down my throat. Oh, really? Yeah. How dare he? <laughs> <laughs> Willingly took them too, by the sounds of it. Yeah, well, <laughs> what? Nah. nah. <laughs> McLeod. 
comes in, missed it to the left hand side. Mount have missed nearly everything actually. Oh, just got it in for one behind. So six seven forty three Thompson. They lead North along six behinds. The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard ten and a half played. You know the thing that worries me? North Geelong are playing pretty poorly. Thompson aren't playing that good either. Are they really? No. The game itself's not being played very well. Maybe it's the wind, the conditions, yeah. I don't know. But So it's Elman now with the ball in the back pocket. He's going to go short. Dangerous kick. Ooh. And he's just uh, been able to hang on to it. And that was Fisher. Yes. Jackson McLeod came quickly, but he goes across the goal now. He goes back to Andrews. So they've got a little bit of space. He gets the ball. They've got it running now. Brockenshire, far side of the ground, takes a mark outside 50. This has got to be a good kick, Davis. Had to take the mark and did so. So they're still inside defensive 50. They've had five disposals. Now they go with number six and they're outside. And the mark taken by Cotter. They need to continue to run from this point. And they go along the boundary line. Coming out for size, Pittman. Ooh, that, that was high. It was high. And the free kick will go to Tresize. And could have been 50. Well, he pulled his arm away. It wasn't dive obvious. but uh, yeah, It was right. a fair way away from yeah. him. Tresize now goes quickly, goes back into the forward line over the head of McLeod. Andrews at the back, can't take the mark, gets the handball away. Interception there, Trelleth got a hand in, picked up by Elmer. He goes out wide again, Cotter back on the right boot, chips back towards the big fella Davis, can't take the mark. Well, he's got to get it free though. He was, free kick, playing advantages paid. Van Creek and quickly up the middle of the ground, finds Parker. So again, Parker has a runner outside. He goes in that direction now. Habib leads in the race for the ball. Picks it up nicely. Goes quickly into the forward line. Fitzsimmons. Ball runs through the contest. Jacker first to get back there. Killsby closes. Oh. On the left boot, he goes wide and too wide. Ball's out of bounds on the full. Free kick North Geelong. <coughs> so Habib with the ball. A short option. He uses him now. And Dylan Fisher. Dylan Fisher takes the mark. He also goes quickly to Pittman. And we've got an opportunity here now. Don't worry about an opportunity. He'll kick it. Well, he'll kick it, but will it be a goal? He'll kick a goal. He'll kick a goal. Just uh, congratulations to Karaya, grade winners, 40 to 37. Who they beat? Uh, North Geelong. So they'll play Bannockburn next Sunday and Werribee Thompson in, play in the second semi. Uh, Nepal. Shut up. Who cares? Well, in, it's better than goal. this. It goes Come on, Pitty. Bring it back, sir. And through for a minor score. So North Geelong to seven behinds. And Thompson are six goals, seven. Twelve and a half minutes <coughs> gone, third quarter to Grandy Cycling Sports, third quarter scoreboard. You want to know my favourite part of the netball game, Grubby? No. North Geelong was scoring goals. Oh. Hutchinson <laughs> goes towards centre half back. Good mark, Sam Jacker. Handballs it away quickly to Egan. He chips the ball over the top. Looking for spokes. Did nicely, got back on the right. Got around a couple. Then goes back... Towards the boundary line, Laver just stands his ground, takes the mark, centre wing. Which one? There's two of them. Laver's. Hill. The hill goes up. Good uh, chop off by Fisher, though, for North Geelong. Rain starting to fall again here with the sun out. So we're getting it all. So Fisher. Mm, he doesn't know where to go. Goes across towards Brockenshire. Can't take the ball. McLeish had to get around three. Threw the ball away. It was enough, though, to give it away now to McLeod. Right foot high kick, only as far as Darren Matheson. Hat in the back pocket, Matho takes the mark. And short little kick's okay. Brock and Shears followed it up and will take the kick out wide. They go along the line now with the ball towards, had to be, well, it was a two on one, Habib. Hutchinson gets the uh, ball away quickly. And the kick back in board. Thompson, turn it over again. Davis, he leaves it behind as well. And. The umpire has picked out a free kick to Thompson. Must have went over the shoulder, I think. McLeish has got it. <coughs> so on centre wing on the outer side, he goes inboard towards half forward. No mark by Wall. He's going to get a free, though. Over the shoulder, said the umpire. Now that was there. So Brendan Wall. 50 out from goal. On the boundary line. Chips it over the top. Egan takes the mark. I've never seen the North Geelong leave so many blokes on their own in my life. So Egan's in the right forward pocket, about 30 out from goal. Pretty tough kick from there. He, in fact, it's Banfield, I think, because he's gone with the left. I'll he's tell you what, it. he didn't make it look he's too tough. With kick. It too. So Banfield kicks his first. 
And the seventh for Thompson. They go to 7 seven forty nine. They lead North Geelong seven behinds. And that's on the DeGrandy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard. I don't know. Oh, come on, Grub. Give me something. Alex, give us something. Alex, besides netball, give me something. Oh, I just had all the stats, oh. you know. Bridget was uh, one no, no, of the no, turnovers no, 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 no. in the last quarter, the playing coach yeah. for Karai, but... No, obviously, it's not professional. Don't keep try it. Don't give try it. We, we know why you cheerio went Cheerio to early. Courtney McLeod. She, she'll be listening. Yeah. She's uh, mentioned we crackled a bit last week, but we're really good today, Court. So yeah. I hope you hear this loud and clear. <laughs> I hate people that give cheerios and that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so do I. I wonder if Belinda's still listening. <laughs> Half a Werribee. <laughs> So the ball back in the middle of the ground again. Thompson, they go forward once again, back into the half-forward line. Spoil from behind, comes to the front of the contest. Fitzsimmons held without the ball, picked up by Morton. He's handball, uh, went to Swenison. He's tackled, picked up there, and the free kick has been given. Thompson, no, it's going North Geelong's way. Brent Swenison without the ball. So he will have it at centre-half back. I hope they don't go sideways from here. Let's go straight down the ground at least. The kick is short and had to be good because the mark has been taken out there by Wilson. Goes back to Swenison. And up the middle of the ground they go towards a bib. Spoil from behind. Well done, Tunbridge. Ball comes down. Picked up. Kick around the body was uh, okay because it ends in the hands of Gardner who goes wide. And they find the hill on centre wing. So Labor now <laughs> hill. goes back into the half forward line over the top. Matheson. Darren does well. Taps the ball in front of himself. Brock and Chire in support. They uh, work the ball across the half-back line and ends up in the hands of Fitzsimmons, who goes into the middle. Mark has been taken by Morton. Off to the smooth-running Swinnison. Handball goes back outside, and they move the ball now quickly. A good passage of play now. Just need a mark in the forward line. Can't be done by Parker. And he was getting the front and square contest. Picked up Jacker. Oh, what? Did he have an opportunity to get rid of that? Absolutely none. Say nothing, Grubby, please. <laughs> Say nothing, Grubby. <coughs> So Luke Parker has a free kick. He'll kick from 50. And again, I'll say it again, with that breeze, I think this is just beyond him. So he's kicked 22 for the season from his 13 games. It's not even a player leading to give him an option here at the moment. So Luke Parker, they're just standing back in the goal square. And he loads up. He goes long. That's and he gets it straight through the middle. Yo, yo, day! <laughs> Lukey Parker, the first goal to North Geelong. One goal, seven. And I think that probably nearly better is their score from last year, Grub, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. We're only going by <laughs> goals, I think, are we? 7-7, seven, seven, <laughs> Thompson. One. And we have gone, I don't even know how long we've gone now, Jase. No, a long time. It has <laughs> been a long time. The <laughs> ironic thing is they get their first goal from a free kick that no one in the vicinity of St Albans absolutely would ever see what it was for. I can't believe that. That poor bugger grabbed the ball and they all grabbed him. He didn't drag it in. He didn't have prior opportunity. And I think they wanted to get him a goal. That's all I can think of. Back to the middle, 18 play. Davis back in the ruck for North Geelong. Gets it down. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Look, for North Geelong's sake, I was hoping they'd kick a few goals. For Dick Philpott's sake, I was hoping they did. <laughs> <laughs> so ball up, Bowles, Davis. Bowles gets it down. Still in the middle. Pack develops, ball not coming out of there. Another bounce. So third bounce in the middle. Davis or ball up. Davis gets it down. Parker. Oh, there's a fresh air shot in there somewhere. Davis got the kick away. Rickett, not 15. Falls in the arms of Laver. Gets the torpedo punt towards uh, centre half forward. McLeod comes out. Nice little tap back to Egan. His handball to Stacey. Runs past. Going to be chopped off by oh. Brock and Shear. Did nicely. Great tackle. That's the desperation I want to see from them all over the ground. So, kicked it out of bounds on the full in the end, Stacey. So, North Geelong will take the free kick. Elmer has the football. He's got Schwenison opposite side in the back pocket. Oh, dangerous. He comes out. Troth was there as well. Kick off the ground by Matho was nice to Schwenison. Back to Brent Schwenison. That was from Luke. Now outboard to Andrews. Goes along the line. Spokes got a hand up to it. Rickett. Can't keep it in. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Left half forward for Thompson. They lead 7 7 49. Who won the rugby last night? Um, New Zealand. They're 17 nil up, yeah, Australia. Yeah, they lost it in the last couple of minutes. Oh, I turned yeah. over, they were 17 7, and that was enough for me. Mm -hmm. I can't stand that game. No, nah, but I want to see if they won or not. Bowles gets it down to the front. Jacker away to Banfield. Tumbling punt towards the boundary line at half forward. I did yeah. watch the storm. Will be out. <laughs> You're going to be watching it again here before too long. 
So I'll throw in left half forward, Thompson. 7 7 49. They lead north. 1 7 13. 20 minutes played, third term. So on the half forward line, the ball about to come back into play now. And the umpire throws it in out the back. Ball runs free. No player was able to touch it until the Ruckman had a crack at it, but they missed it. And it's going to be picked up, cleared away. Swenison tries to work his way through the contest. Now he's in a bit of trouble. He did have prior opportunity at that time. So the ball will go to Alex Bowles. Good tackle by the big Ruckman. So he goes quickly into the forward line. McLeod, the target out oh, in good. front. Oh. Good strong hands. And Jackson McLeod will go back and line up for goal number three for the afternoon. Had a couple of uh, opportunities he would probably normally kick. And just to think that in three weeks' time, He'll be playing this bloke this. may be running around in the 12 o'clock game. Oh, and you're crazy. He misses that one. So Jacko McLeod is 2 2 now. He will if he keeps going. Yeah, I was like just going to say that. <coughs> 7 8 now to the Thompson side. They lead an orchard long. One goal, seven. 21 minutes gone. Third quarter to Granny Slock and Sports. Third quarter scoreboard. So Andrews from full back kicks it into the pocket, looking for Brock and Shire goes up, takes it a second grab. Back towards Brent Schwenison, short kick is okay. Now he goes back across the ground into the back pocket, Andrews. And go to the outer side now, half back flank looking for Elmer. That's better, takes a good mark. Just inside defensive 50, plays on. Goes towards centre wing with a kick. Fitzsimmons comes out. Tunbridge right next to him off Fitzy. Great mark. Good mark. Gives it away by hand quickly to Van Creeken. Best passage to play. Schwenison. And Luke close to the boundary line. Handball over the top to Killsby. Set it up for him. He dropped the footy. Umpire said play on. And now the pack develops at half forward for the Magpies. It's broken down. Oh, I don't oh. like this. Oh, oh. oh, just the way he, he moved in, I thought, <laughs> no. <laughs> So a ball up, half forward, North Geelong into attack. I thought suspension coming up here, Grubb. <laughs> Davis gets it down. Rove, though, by Stevens. High kick towards centre wing. Wilson used the body. Off hands, Banfield, if it sits for him. He does. Gets a kick around the corner towards half forward. Matheson from behind, punched it away. Been their best player by far today. <coughs> Well, I reckon up to halfway through the second quarter, Killsby wasn't too far behind him, but he's dropped well behind now. Matho, without Matho, they'd be 17-8 <laughs> to 1-7, I think. I really do. I mean that. So I'll throw in between wing and half forward on the outer side. Thompson into attack. Has Thompson Matheson kicked a goal? No. Mm. So I'll throw in. Magpies move it towards centre wing. Killsby's there. Jack up. Gives the handball away to Scott. Oh, Tunbridge under pressure, but they've got the numbers out wide. Stevens again off a step towards uh, Hutchinson on centre wing. He got one by yeah, the play. down too, the ground yeah. free kick as well. It's Banfield. He goes back in board. McLeish, the diving slips catch of a mark, takes it. <coughs> still at half. Uh, still at centre wing. Goes towards half forward now. McLeod. Oh, something's happened, do you? It's a fifty. Jason's mates played a 50. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul's going to come down with Dave McLeish. <laughs> Takes a bit of ground, too. Yeah. Must be a real estate agent. So, McLeish. No, I think he's a. Hasn't kicked a goal. <laughs> 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 hasn't kicked a goal yet. Looking for Thompson's eighth of the afternoon. He comes in. He's only about uh, 35 out directly in front. Oh, geez, I'll tell you what. Ooh, the umpire hadn't moved. The umpire did not move, and he put it through for his first of the afternoon. And the eighth for Thompson. They go to 8 8 56. <coughs> they lead North Geelong 1 7 13. And that is on the DeGrandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard. Well, I think at half time, the two questions remained in the game can they kick one, or can they beat their score from last year? There's only one question remaining. Because they've kicked their one. Mm. Yeah, they've got to kick another one to beat. Like, terribly, terribly disappointing for them. Mm. You know, all your supporters go against you and start bagging you. Know, they've probably got to get, get behind them and say, oh, you don't want to at the time, but mm. things have got to change here. So ball back in the middle of the ground again. Thompson uh, again looks like they're going to merge with the put ball, and it's been held up, though, this time. So Banfield couldn't get the ball free. Another ball up in the middle. Josiah's doing some ruck work at the present time with Bowles having a spell. Davis taps it down. Stevens had it for Thompson and lost it. Now picked up by Fitzsimmons. Tries to get the ball out. Players 
stand around as the umpire decides it's time to come in and take possession of the ball. And it's going to be slippery to handle, I reckon, I think, by the looks of it. Davis taps it out. Stevens was clean with the ball. Goes towards Rickett. Again, Mark is not taken there, so at ground level, picked up. Cotter gets a handball away. Blackie goes back towards Rickett. Missed him. Spokes. Chance now to run onto it. Wants to get back on his right side. He's got support, though, and Stevens stopped and propped, and he went back with Hutchison. He's going to be uh, tackled, and the ball will go over the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in just forward of centre wing. <coughs> Probably doesn't make any bearing on what sort of game it is, but I haven't seen one bloke push another bloke and argue. With it. It's been bruised free, I don't know, that way, which is good for the league, but does it show lack of desperation and lack of will? I don't know if have desperation, just lack of bloody heart and having a crack, I think. Mm. Grub. Ball at the contest. Now there's a free kick being given. It's going Thompson's way. McLeish is going to emerge with the football, but it's going to go back to Howland. Howland plays on and goes quickly to the forward line. Mark tracking by Trelleth. Just on or about 50 metres from goal, I would think, from here. As a player short, McLeod. He's ignored him and he's going to go long towards the goal square. And it's going to hit the back of the contest at ground level. Who wins it? Picked up. They're running away from goal with the handball. Picked up, goes back further in the hands of Hutchison, who kicks around the body. But he won't bring it back anywhere near far, far enough. And it goes out of bounds on the full this time. So at 8 eight fifty six, the Thompson side, they lead North Geelong 1 7 13. 26 and a half minutes gone. Third quarter, the Granny Slock and Sports third quarter scoreboard. He didn't get to the front of the competition. No. <laughs> Do you know he's at the front of the competition? No. <laughs> <laughs> <Old> post Hill. <laughs> <laughs> so the footy's gone over in the uh, schoolyard. Yep. Just something else to keep us here for another 10 minutes. Yep. So I've gone through the uh, lowest scores this year. Um, Thompson have that honour. One one goal, five eleven against Inverley in early round two. two. Yep. So this would be the second lowest. And uh, North Geelong in the elimination final last year, that was the lowest score for season 2015. One five eleven. So they passed that mark. Kick back by Andrews towards Brent Schwenison. Just gets it away to Balaki. Under pressure, pack develops about 40 out. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Thompson still on attack. 27 and a half played third term. Another opportunity for a goal here for the Tigers. Into attack. The Pye throws the ball in the air. Davis gets it down. Robe nicely by Fitzsimmons. Punched away. Killsby. Handball to Luke Schwenison across halfback. Had to sit and wait for it. And got hassled out of it by Scott. His handball was chopped off though. And the umpire says play on. Still in dispute. Schwenison goes through. Comes back and gets it again. Now handball somehow to Chris Scott. He tried to get it away quickly. Oh, it's a rugby scrum. Now Davis just gets a kick back towards the middle of the ground. Coming in Van Kroken. Ball chopped out of his hands. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. So ball up in the middle for Tresize. So Davis gets Ooh. it down. Davis tries to do the roving work as well. And comes out the back of the pack. Holwell oh, puts his head over the footy as he and extracts the football as usual. Tunbridge through without the football. Brent Schwenison loses it in the tackle. Tunbridge left it behind. Now Brent Schwenison gets it away again. Goes towards half forward. Tresize comes back with it. Goes back towards Jacker. Goes to Pittman. Kills big kick off the ground. McLeish rides the bump. Tries to get it out. Threw it. He did. I was waiting for the other umpire to call it. Now, still in dispute at centre wing. Pack develops as the siren sounds. Oh, that's a shame. And it's 8-8-56 Thompson. They lead North Geelong 1-7-13. <laughs> Goal.